welcome back. And this is part two of the last video I just uploaded it earlier. I told you about some of my Blu rays. Some right here. Some right here. I'm going to finish up with part two here. So, I'm going to continue. Let's do this. Next up, we have one of the best movies ever that I absolutely love. Uh, which is this. Yep, Child's Play. The first Chucky movie ever. This, I love Charles, Chucky so much. Some people say I look like him. I mean, compare me to this. Do you see it? I don't know. I kind of do a bit. A bit. I have the same color eyes as him. Well, anyways... I saw this on VHS. I originally saw first saw this on VHS. Got the VHS. It was so good. It is even better on Blu-ray. I mean, oh my god! The graphics are just so amazing. It has special features. It says bonus right here. Bonus features to die for. I mean, look at the cover art. Uh, there's the front. And the back art is kind of confusing. I mean, look at that. It's showing Chucky with scars. I mean, Chucky doesn't have scars in the first movie. He, g he doesn't get until the fourth movie, was it Bride of Chucky? Ah, uh, the story is pretty good. As like this movie actually came out. It originally came out when I when I was born. It, the VHS copy of this originally came out in 1988. So, Chucky is the same age as me. He's 29, I'm 29. I'm going to be 30 soon. I mean, I absolutely love Chucky. I've known him since, I, I've loved him since I was, since I was able to walk. I mean, I was like, three years old when I first watched Chucky. It wasn't this one, it was the third movie. Then I went watched the ones before it, like this one and the second one. I want I have almost all of them uh, on DVD. I have this one on Blu-ray. I have Christmas Chucky and Cold Chucky on Blu-ray. I have uh, two, five, and five. Um, bootleg. I know it's illegal, but hey. I get movies somehow. It was such a good, amazing story. I hope in the next one, Captain Hicks and Chris Sarandon come back. I mean, they brought back Kenny Barkley and Jeff Tilly's character, Tiffany, in Cult. That was so good. I loved it. Uh, and, get, and they brought back Kyle. I was, I'm going to get to Cult of Chucky pretty soon. So, yeah. Next, we have... Curse of Chucky. Oh my gosh, this was good. I love it. I was waiting for them to make a sixth movie because of how f Seed ended. I knew they were going to make a si f sixth one, and here it is. I like who they got to, got play, got to play in this. They got Bad Dorf's daughter, Ni Fiona Dorf, playing Nika. I'm like, and wow. It is so amazing. The story is great. I like how they have some flashbacks in here from the first movie. Like they have one where Chucky or Charles Lee Ray hid in the toy store in the first movie. And they that and um they show why he was running. And was it wasn't because of murder, it's because police were called on him. I'm like, this movie is good. I like how they went back to the dark side in this. It was so cool. Good. Because no, not everybody liked how, where Chucky went with Sprite and Seed. They went to comedy. I'm like, that's not what Chucky's about. No. I mean, they dressed that comedy in the fourth movie. Like, Chucky said to himself, if it were a movie, it'd take three or four sequels just to do it justice. And, yeah, it was the fourth movie, so... 
but this one brought, brought the heart element back. And Don Mancini did good with this. And they're going to make another one pretty soon. I, sometime, I don't know when. But Don Mancini has plans for an eighth movie. Because for the mo next movie after this, he planned, planned to put it on a train. But he didn't get to use the idea. He put it in the, I'll, I'll just get to the next movie. If I spoil it. So, yeah, I'll give that a watch. I'm not going to give these. Uh, these two a watch. I mean, Chucky is so great. If you want to, you can skip the Bride and Seed, but they all go good together in a, in a um, collective. A saga, whatever you want to call it. I call the Sucky Trucky Saga. Next one, you guessed it. <coughs> Dang it. I'll pick this up. Next one, you guessed it. Bri called a Chucky. Yeah. Everybody loved it. They gave it just great critical praise and all that. Better than cost Curse. I pick it. I dropped some to my Blu-rays. I'll pick them up real quick. Sorry about that. Okay. Now, Kodoshaki has a good storyline to it. I like that they brought back Nika from... They kind of continued from Curse. And they brought back Andy. I love that. I heard how I geeked. I fan geeked. I don't know why. And I like the fact that they put on the case. and you can, It's like one of those pictures you turn. It's like one of those 3D effects. Where you can tell she's in the background. I love this movie. It was so good. With this one, I don't know if you can see that real well. In this one, they tried to get, go with a more CP2 look. What I mean by CP2 look is Child's Play 2, the second movie. And they did good. The one thing in this movie that made me all, get, ultimately geek was the fact that there was three Chuckies. Sorry I gave that a spoiler away, but technically there's four, but full body there's three. The reason why I said there's four is because there's still the head at Andy's house. His cabin, used to say. In the head is the original Chucky from Curse. The head in this movie, the Chucky head in this movie is the original Chucky from this one. You can tell. You can tell the difference in the shape of the heads. I mean, just look at the heads. Just look at the heads and nose. On those. This one is wider. This one's slimmer. And much more softer toned. I like it. This story is real good. I like that effect it was in the asylum. And Don Man City has plans for Chucky 8. This is the seventh movie. He has the plans for an eighth movie. And I, and I'm wondering if sometime soon he's going to put himself in a movie. I mean, he's put Tony Gardner in one. He put him in Seed. And, yeah. I don't know what direction they're going to go with the eighth movie. I don't know. Some are rumored to for him to go in space. I'm like, really? You, Don, why don't you go with your original plan that you wanted to do with Colt? Put him on a train. I mean, that'd be much more likely. So yeah. Those movies are real good. I got more. I got Goosebumps. The new one, the Jack Black. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I like that it um, calls back to the ones I grew up with. In like a it show Werewolf of Fever Swamp, Slappy from the Living Dummy movie saga. Um, 
if you, you get a little glimpse, a little bit of a glimpse, at one moment, toward the end of the movie, of the girl from the Haunted Mask series. I liked it. I, I mean, and I like the fact that they had the original R.L. Stein in it at the end. If y'all don't know who R.L. Stein is, he's the author of Goosebumps. If you don't know what R.L. Stein is, it's Robert Lawrence Stein. It's so good. I like that. I brought back the Goosebumps saga. After all these years, I loved Goosebumps. As to me, it's more of a... Closer to real life than anything else. And I also got um, the Lorax. I'll show you as soon as this is the adaptation of the Duchess's book. And yeah, I like who they got to play the Lorax. Of course, the Lorax, Dan DeVito, the most funniest, critically acclaimed actors of all. I mean, he's better known for his role in that TV show. So I was saying to Philadelphia, I watch it. It's good. Give it a watch. Now I do want to tell us. So yeah, that was my DVD collection. My, my Blu-ray collection. If you guys well, whenever we got so sometime I'll show you guys my Stephen King collection or my whole horror collection if you want me to. So yeah, if you like what you saw, like and subscribe. If you, if you want to voice your opinion, go to the comments below, like always, and I'll see you guys in next time. Gather those souls for me. Gather those souls for me. Peace.